Hey guys, and welcome to this um, second tutorial in the appetizer series. Um, we're just going to continue from where we've left off last time. And we just modeled the wine glass, and now we're actually going to model the second glass. Now, this might be a little bit repetitive, so I'm going, I'm going over it a bit faster, and we'll use a slightly different technique to model it instead of the spin tool. So uh, yeah, let's just open up that file we saved last time. And um, let's just, with Shift A, add a circle, okay? And then let's set the vertices to eight. Or actually even six, six should be enough. And let's also check fill, okay? And now let's just um, go to top view. And let's move it approximately uh, right next to um, to just about right there. Okay. Then let's go to one other numpad, and let's also make sure that it actually just sits on um, on the table like this. Once again, let's leave a little bit of room because it is um, transparent, and it would be bad if it actually. Uh, went into the table. Okay, let's go to edit mode. Let's select um, the outer the outer vertex loop. Let's hit E to extrude, and let's just move it all the way up to just about hmm, just about right there. Okay, three. Let's just scale it up on top, and now let's just scale everything down with Shift C a little bit because it's a bit a little bit too big. Yeah, just about like this, and now let's also. Um, select the lower part and scale that in a little bit more, like this. Okay. Um, now, we want to go for one of those um, standard glasses that have some ripples here. Um, you can also go for the one I went for in the tutorial, uh, in the image that I showed you before, um, over here, where it just has like one big ripple there. But I'm going for a different one because, uh, you know, doing the same thing twice is a bit boring. So, um, yeah, this way I have a little bit of a variation. And actually, let's just um, add them in one by one, because otherwise we cannot slide them. Just about there. Like this. And the next one over there. Like this. One there. And then one more. Like this. Okay, now let's select this one, and this one, and there's one missing there, and this one. Slide a little bit upwards, okay. Let's select those, and let's just scale them in with Shift-C once again, inward a little bit like this. And also, actually, let's also do it with the, uh, the one down here. Okay, just like this, cool. And now we're actually already nearly finished. One thing to do now is to add a subdivision surface um, to level two as well. E, and now let's add in a vertex over there. Because our glass is allowed to be a bit uh, round. It's allowed to be a bit, little bit round on the bottom, but not too, not too much, just about like that. Let's also actually, um, one thing I could show you, let's just uh, hit the slash button on our numpad. Right now, if you hit Control R over here, then it doesn't work because there, those are all triangles, okay? In order to do it anyway, let's just select that. Or um, let's just hit Control R over here. Let's just move it all the way down. Let's just select this inner loop. Let's just scale it in. And this is the way you can actually still add a vertex. Make sure it's about there. Okay. Um, cool. Now, let's also set it to smooth. And actually, let's just bump that up one more, one more subdivision. Like this. Okay, now let's just throw in a uh, solidify modifier as well. Once again, above the subsurf. And let's just um, go with 0 0.023 as well. Although in this case, and also let's add one more loop cut up here. Okay. And let's just make it a bit, th a bit thicker to so just about right there because I think usually they are a bit thicker than normal glasses. 
like right there. Okay, and as we did in the last tutorial, um, let's apply it. Go to edit mode. And now, as you might know, uh, most classes have a very, um, a very thick uh, bottom glass layer. So let's just move that up to just about there. Let's scale the lower part in like this. Okay, that's about realistic, I guess. And now one more thing. Uh, let's just with Control Plus select more and more vertices, just to about just until we reach um, the upper vertex of this um, ripple series. And now with um, S Shift C, let's just move it in a little bit because glasses tend to be, uh, get thicker towards on the bottom. Okay, and um, this looks actually not that bad. We can still adjust it if it shouldn't look right after all. Um, afterwards, okay. And now let's actually do one more thing. Let's add in a vertex loop, also an edge loop in here. And now with this, we can actually adjust how much wood we want in it. And we want just about, um, I think just about like this. Let's just see. So we can actually very well see onto the surface and this is perfect. And now once again, let's just hit, um, let's just select this, this vertex over there and that one as well. Oh, control plus like this. Okay. Now let's do with shifty. Let's duplicate it. Let's zoom in a little and now let's just scale it down with actually let's do that with S shift C. This is already enough. Um, and let's also make sure that it actually doesn't touch the bottom just now, just there like this and also one thing I don't really like this uh, the fact that it goes up there okay that's kind of unrealistic um, considering how glasses are made I think they're kind of like turned or something so let's just select that and that as well like this and let's move that part down like so perfect now, once again, let's hide the glass, uh, hold H. First, we have to separate um, that part with Control L. That was the wrong vertex, Control L, like this, P, selection. And now let's just um, unhide everything uh, with hitting the slash key, so everything's back. Now let's select this uh, inner part, and now let's hit slash again. So now we're only working on the water. Now let's go into edit mode. Let's select that, ES, just about there. Add an additional loop cut over here. Let's select that edge loop. Let's make it as sharp as possible. Let's move that down a little. Now ES, once again, once again, once again, once again. Let's just see, this one goes a little bit up. That one a little bit down. This one a little bit up and then this one up again and this doesn't work so we need to scale that up because I always think it looks nicer if the part in the middle is that goes actually up instead of down let's add an, up, an addition loop cut let's move that one down this one up E S Alt M center let's move it up again and here we go. And let's once again just rotate this very slightly around the x-axis and this one around the y-axis. Perfect. And um, let's take a look at this outer part. It is already smooth. Um, now here, um, this area where the capillary action is going on looks quite nice. We can leave that as it is as well. Alt. Um, let's hit the slash key again bring everything back and that's basically already it for the um, for the second glass of water okay although I must say I don't really like one part of it uh, give me just a second here actually it's all right I thought it, it, it the size difference between the upper radius and the lower one wasn't enough but I think that's oh, that's okay this way as well cool so that's it for the second part of um, of the appetizer series. We now modeled both glasses. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about modeling um, the ceramic bowl 
and maybe even already the olives. And yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post it in the comments. And yeah, see you next time.